Welcome to this short training video based on the HE assessment strategy, which is available on the website. This video provides a brief introduction to the group of assessment tools called the Supervised Learning Events or SLEs. An SLE is an occasion where a supervisor assesses a trainee's performance in a clinical or practice setting. It is a learning opportunity which provides time for reflection and developmental feedback. In the assessment strategy, the SLEs are one of the assessment tools that can be used to record an assessment activity. The assessment strategy indicates which assessment activities could be recorded using an SLE. To make sure that each SLE represents a snapshot of the trainee's performance, they should be done, ideally, when the trainee is carrying out their routine daily activities, although this can be difficult in some sectors of care. Depending on the activity or scenario that the supervised learning event is assessing, the supervisor can be someone other than a pharmacist, such as an experienced pharmacy colleague or a member of the multidisciplinary healthcare team. Supervised learning events are a formative assessment which aims to provide trainees and supervisors with the appropriate information to facilitate and enhance further development. They will also support the provision of evidence that will contribute to the demonstration of the learning outcomes. They are not a summative assessment which measures a trainee's level of proficiency or success at the end of a session or unit of training. There are four different supervised learning events that can be used in the foundation training year. Mini clinical evaluation checks, direct observation of practical skills or DOPS, medication related consultation framework or MRCF and case based discussion or CBD. To get the most out of supervised learning events, be used regularly over an extended period of time and on a variety of cases. This will provide the trainee's designated supervisor with a longitudinal picture of their performance and development. More information on each of these tools, including the forms, can be found on our website. All the SLE forms fo follow a similar format. There is a table of criteria which provide guidance for the supervisor and trainee on the different knowledge, skills and behaviours that may be observed during a supervised learning event. There's also an area to document details about the scenario, the developmental feedback and action plan discussed after the SLE and trainee reflection. The criteria within the tool are a guideline and there may be aspects that the supervisor wishes to feed back on that are outside the criteria being assessed. Examples include assessing the trainee's ability to judge the situation and demonstrate emotional intelligence within a scenario. The most important element of an SLE is the developmental feedback and producing a clear action plan to enable the trainee to continually develop. Trainees and their supervisors should use the developmental model of feedback, which is designed to encourage trainee reflection. There are four steps. Step one, trainee comments on what went well. The feedback session begins with the supervisor asking the trainee to reflect and comment on activities they think they did well. Step two, supervisor comments on what went well. Once the trainee has spoken, the supervisor continues by reinforcing and expanding on what went well. They should include patient comments if available. Step three, trainee comments on areas to improve. The supervisor should then ask the trainee to comment on areas where they think they could improve. Or supervisor comments on areas to improve. Once the trainee has spoken, if it's appropriate, the supervisor should reinforce and expand Again, including patient com comments if available. Once feedback has been discussed and the trainee has confirmed that they clearly understand the feedback provided, the trainee and supervisor should form an action plan to capture future learning goals. There is a dedicated space within the SLE for this. 
refer to action plans regularly to ensure the trainee is developing as intended, particularly if the trainee uses different supervisors for each SLE. To make it straightforward for the designated supervisor to decide whether a trainee has completed each action point, they should all be smart. All the SLE forms will be available to record directly onto the ePortfolio or for them to be uploaded. Prior to finalising and submitting the form to the designated supervisor sign-off, there is an opportunity for trainees to reflect on the scenario observed, their performance, feedback received, action plans and what they would like to do next time. Each assessment activity recorded within an SLE that is uploaded to the ePortfolio will be required to be mapped to the GPHC Foundation Training Year Interim Learning Outcomes and the HE Foundation Training Year Assessment Activity prior to sign off by the designated supervisor. For further information on the SLE tools, please visit the HE website. A more detailed e-learning module on introduction to supervised learning events is available on e-learning for health. The link to the training is available in HEE Trainee Pharmacist Foundation Year Assessment Strategy, available on the HEE website. For further information on the learning outcomes, please visit the HEE Training Pharm Pharmacist Foundation Year Assessment Guide and Strategy on the HEE website. This describes the assessment activities which as a whole are designed to provide a range of evidence against each of the learning outcomes. There are also many other additional resources on the HE website. For more information, particularly on the learning outcomes, please do look at the GPHC Foundation Training Manual on the GPHC website.